Citizen, soldier. Right. It's a third story in this Real War Stories number two from Eclipse Comics, published in 1991. Citizen Soldier, the name of a veterans organization that is geared towards advocating for U.S. veterans. Written by Kim Yale, artist Dean Motter, letters M. Eisman, edits Joyce Brabner. Rags. the background press about face a four-year bummer the airman's voice on guard and I believe on guard was a paper that citizen soldier was putting out let's see this what does this say this is your personal property and cannot be taken away Fort Knox had one, so did Fort Dix. Its name was Shakedown, Newport Naval Station, titled theirs, All Hands Abandoned Ship, while Wait Wright Patterson Air Force Base called theirs the Star Spangled Bummer. The Marines said, said it all with a single nasty word, rage. That's what that is, rage. The GI underground newspapers were the most consistent, uh, consistent stateside protest during the veteran era. Some lasted for years, others folded when the men who put them out were discharged or transferred. As the war drew to its weary end, the newspapers shut down as well. Vietnam vets were systematically discharged from service to make way for less embedder, embedded, more pliable volunteer armed services. The reason for, a, for the fraggings, the search and vo avoid patrols, the radical unrest and sabotage and attack carriers an unpopular war is long over one rarely hears of any protest among soldiers or sailors on guard the paper published by citizen soldier a non-profit gi and veterans rights group is proof that discontent and dissent still exist Hi, um, I was told I could call this number and find out about AIDS testing. I'm in the army and I need to know what will happen to me if I refuse. Uh, I guess I'd better tell my story. I tried using the chain of command, but no one's doing a damn thing about it. The equipment's unsafe. And someone's going to get hurt, maimed, even killed. Hi, I'm in the eighth grade and I'm doing a term paper on Agent Orange. And I was wondering if I could send me, if you, if you could send me some information. Eight and a half years of hard work wiped out because I was honest about being gay. 
because I was true to the oath of my commission that I would not lie I want to fight it but I'll need help each issue of on guard reflects the uh, paramount concern of citizen soldier the dem democratization of the military system making it accountable to society at large and re responsive to the needs of his personnel and families every day citizen soldier receives calls from men and women enlisted enlisted and officer on active duty or in the reserves who believe their human and civil rights have been infringed upon by military policies and practices Changes are if you call citizen, ch chances are if you call citizen soldier, Trisha Pretchfield will answer. Trisha sought citizen soldiers' assistance in obtaining a release from the air bay, from the air force as a conscientious objector in 1983. She's been in the an in integral part of citizen soldier now for eight years press releases fundraising screening and processing calls you name it trisha does it Beep. the answering machine goes off amazing after all these years we're still getting inquiries about agent orange ah, so this is this was a call coming in to her I believe regarding agent orange and agent orange was a chemical that the US military used uh, in Vietnam in Cambodia and in that region uh, and they sprayed it everywhere and it's pure poison and uh, Monsanto had a role to play in it I believe it was amplified uh, pesticide military grade pesticide that was used for the killing off the vegetation so the soldiers uh, could see through they wouldn't be ambushed and stuff and poison everything poisoned everything continuing with the comic gay men and women love their country too every time i put on my guard uniform i feel a great sense of pride that's another message there's the paper on guard bring by challenging the military's efforts to discharge me I'm standing up for the right of Americans to enjoy sexual expression without click bring oh so someone was leaving a message she picks up the phone right. Right. hello citizen soldier she answers that's a beautiful piece really I see you're calling on behalf of your son he signed with the marine uh, reserves for the money for college and the terms of enlistment were misrepresented to him wow, man. they're recruiting join the marine uh oh she's not happy about it They promised that field training would not disrupt his college studies and that he would be excused from drills when he had exams or term papers. 
now he's getting hassled. It's interfering with his grades, yes, and now he wants out. History of Western civilization, C minus, wow. That's not good grades. No, your son's not the only one. Unfortunately, we receive plenty of calls and complaints about recruitment practices. Ah, oh, look at this real picture in there. They'll tell you you're going to be a pilot and you don't have a high school education. False promises, bait and switch tactics, blatant lies, threats and intimidation of enlistees, all in the name of an established quota system which recruiters are under intense pressure to meet. So the ends justify the means, forge the signature of a 17 year old recruit old recruits estranged father on the enlistment papers don't mention that on a delayed entry enlistment contract a person isn't legally obligated to report for active duty unless they swear a second oath which places them on active duty wow look at that what Top the golden career opportunities portrayed in the commercials and films like Top Gun and then sign the guy up for whatever slot needs to be filled. Overqualified, underqualified for the position. It doesn't matter. Fill the quota. A third of the jobs in the Army and Marines are either with infantry, artillery, or tanks. Almost half the Navy jobs involve extended tours of sea duty. The number of qualified people who actually get the high tech training is very small. Enlistees find that written promises for a specific job assignment aren't binding. The Army isn't obligated to train you as a radar technician. The Navy isn't obligated to place you in navigation school. Hey buddy, your scores are too, are good, but all my school openings are closed right now. After you complete basic, you can reapply for computer tech or electrician or sonar or nuclear. Yes, tomorrow afternoon is fine. Back to the citizen office right yes tomorrow afternoon is fine how about 1 15 good no please feel free to come along we want you to find out more about citizen soldier by now by now good morning how many messages he asks too many the most important one is still on the machine another call call came in before I could finish listening to it and this time you're helping an eighth grader with her paper on agent orange wow drink on guard was delivered but I haven't looked uh, through a copy yet I just finished with another recruitment call the guy will be in in with his father tomorrow fine do the intake and i'll review exactly what kind of case we've got and how we can help you answer it i want to read 
my morning paper with my coffee she says and the phone was ringing Bring. let's check this out hello citizen soldier Todd Ensign speaking haha <laughs> Todd Ensign the end and Todd Ensign so it looks like it was a two-person operation so far but it must have been more people in there right and Todd Ensign is the person that wrote the doop, little statement here regarding who citizen soldier is right Todd Ensign very cool very cool very cool what a historical piece crazy crazy very cool very cool game 